Welcome to Utah's Fly Corner. I'll show you how to tie my Atomic Caddis. Hook I'm using is a Dodge 1550. The thread I'm using is black, uni. Run that back to about the bar. And I'm going to bring it back up. Nice touch and turns. Get a good thread base down for this fly. Okay, now the base of the body is opal tinsel. Mirage opal tinsel. Good stuff. Catch that in the front. And run it back. Try to keep it on the top. Keep right out of the way. And run your thread back up. Now the rib on it's uh vinyl rib, V rib, uh fluorescent chartreuse. Like the midge. Now with the V rib it's uh round on one side and flat on the other. Uh, we want to get the flat side um, facing up when we tie it in. Round side facing down. Of course, I gotta have a annoying piece of tinsel. Oh, this happens. Now with the V rib, I tie it in. I'm gonna stretch it. I'm also gonna hook my tinsel and get it out of my way. I'm gonna wrap back. Nice, nice tight turns. Bring it right back up. We're gonna take our tinsel. You can actually counter wrap with the tinsel. Cross our thread. We counter wrap, take one turn over, one turn or two on the shank. Turn over, turn two on the shank. I'm just going to tidy up here real quick, run it down, run it back up. Make sure you leave plenty of room at the head. Good two hook eyes or so. Now our V rib. I'm gonna bring it back up. First turn should be on the bare of the shank. Nice evenly spaced turns, but close. I'm gonna cross our thread. Bring it up nice and tight. Just pull on that V rib, really stretch it out. Nice tight turns, tie it down. Make sure you get it tied in really well, so it doesn't come loose on you. When you cut it, stretch it out, give it a snip. Run my thread back down, and run it back up. Okay. Now, we're going to do the hackle on it. The hackle is uh, black CDC. I'm going to do it uh, Petagene style. I got my magic tool here, the CDC in, got my thread locked into my MP bobbin. Just get some in there, I don't need much. And just spin. I'm just going to wrap it on using the vise. Don't worry about how it's going on. So we're just going to sweep it back anyway. Sweep it back. Unhook your thread. Wrap up a couple times. Get that loose thread off. Pull everybody back. Make yourself a neat head. See how your collar is sitting. It's looking pretty good. And get everybody out from in front of the eye. We got a nice clean head. Brought the thread right to the front of the eye. 
wrap over top of everybody, even up that head, go right into whip finish. I don't go crazy with heads on flies. Don't see much point, but if you want to make them pretty, by all means, go right ahead. Nice sparse CDC collar on it. Um, I do do them with heavier collars. This one has a shorter body and a heavier collar. Um, the one I showed earlier to gloss the head up on that one. But, um, just basically, however, the MP uh, collar wants to come out um, is basically how I how I tie them. Um, but that's the body. Um, you can really see. Um, I don't know if the camera really picks it up or not, um, but depending on the light angle, um, the green from the from the V rib, it really makes that opal tinsel uh, turn green. Um, it already has uh, shades of green in it, um, a heavy amount of purple and silver. Um, but with that, uh, with the V rib on there, it really, really makes it turn green. And uh, to my eye, um, gives it a nice uh, three-dimensional look. Um, gives the fly some depth. Um, been tying this one for mm, not too long. Um, it's a relatively new pattern that I put together, um, but it uh, certainly certainly has uh, worked well for me. Um, fish it uh, as a trailer fly, and uh, it uh, certainly has produced for me. That's for that's for sure. Um, but that's the uh, atomic caddis. And I'm Johnny Utah. Check me out on my blog, www.utahsflycorner.blogspot.com. Hope you enjoyed it, and thanks for watching.